Friday 13th is my lucky day. I've been driving since four this morning and we're basically traveling to the other end of the UK to go and have a look at this large plot of land that's got a hotel sat on it. Now, if this deal does pay off, it means I'll be buying another hotel, possibly for less than hundred thousand pounds because the developer that's on this has actually gone bust. So let's go see if we can strike a deal. So welcome to what will be the latest Bowles Hotel. Let me show you inside and show you around because this is going to be one huge challenge. You can't say I don't like a challenge. So welcome to the Royal Hotel. So this building, someone has tried to renovate it and put it back into its former glory. Unfortunately, they haven't had the skill, the time or the money to do so and the bank has repossessed it. This is where we come in. So this could be the next Bowles Hotel. So let me show you around so you can see the challenges we face. So look at this roof here. So this here is an older style of how they used to structure beams, which is called a crosshatch style, which is brilliant. The problem is it's all woodworm, so <laughs> it's all got to come out anyway. <laughs> so if you come through here, so this here, so nowadays this here, you have to protect these steels, so that wouldn't suffice. What I find very interesting here, so from a building perspective, you've got one column here, and you can see, now you've got a steel spanning across to this column, then you've got another steel on top of that. You've then got a double steel here and then another steel on there. So this pillar here is supporting five steels and two floors and that just doesn't suffice. So it's very interesting when you see things like this and you think, could it be renovated? Honestly, the answer is whip it down and start again. It's important to do things right if you're gonna do them. Take a sneak peek up there, three floors. So let's talk numbers. It looks like this building is gonna cost us 350,000 pounds. That's for the purchase and the renovation to turn it into a 16 apart hotel block. So we've got a GDV of about 1.1 million on this block, which could give us a profit of around about 700,000 before tax and expenses. So it looks like the numbers are pretty good. That is a project and a half, isn't it? So would you take on this challenge? So we're back at Elton Street. So we visited this property two weeks ago. We've started a back to brick renovation. So we've done a full rewire. We've done a new kitchen, a new bathroom, new windows. So we're just gonna do a quick check-in. We've got about a week left on this property. So let me show you around. So as you can see, we've nearly finished the renovation on this property. So check back in in about a week's time and I'll show you what this property looks like completely finished. Want to see what you can get for £35,000? Check out one of our latest properties that we've sourced, refurbished and now managed for one of our clients. Take a look at one of our latest purchases that we purchased for one of our investors. So we bought this house for 80,000 pounds. There's four and a half thousand pounds worth of refurbishment works going on. And we've got a tenant moving in straight away. This is gonna net our client 12.8% yield. So let me show you around. Welcome to one of our latest purchases for one of our investor clients. So this is a freehold property that comprises of two apartments. 
One is a two bedroom apartment on the top floor and one is a one bedroom apartment on the ground floor. Both of which will rent out for one 550 per calendar month and one at 500 per calendar month. So that equates to a total gross income of 1,050 pounds per calendar month. Now I've purchased this property for just under 80,000 pounds. So as you can tell, another great investment for one of our clients. So we've done four property inspections today, four offers in today as well, and we viewed a commercial conversion into one of the latest Bowles hotels. So it's been a pretty busy one. And now we're off to one of our latest purchases, which is our one bedroom leasehold flat for £35,000 for one of our clients to use as an FHL property. Welcome to one of our latest investments. So this is a property that I've acquired for £35,000. Yes. £35,000 and that's fully renovated. Now the reason it's so cheap is because the area it's in is not so great. However, there is a lot of redevelopment work and new structuring going on. Now this rents out to the council for £550 per calendar month. So do the maths, £35,000 purchase and a five year guaranteed contract with the council for £550 per calendar month. Another great little investment for one of our clients. going on? Well, one of the cleaners at our Airbnb has left a Velux window open in the opposite way. What that means is it's down every day of rain for the last week and therefore all the water from the roof, and it's a very big roof, has come down and used that Velux as if it was a slide. It has flooded the upstairs of the apartment as well as flooding all the mattresses, which means I've had to get a new mattress, all new duvets, all new bedding, get the cleaners back out there, sorted within an hour. We've got 11 people staying here, and they're not very happy. So hopefully we can uh, sort it out, make them happy. And by God, we've made some magic happen in the last hour. So yeah, fingers crossed, Jay, fingers crossed. <laughs> 